Let's get ready to rumble! That's the most beautiful watch in the world. Graph watch, y'all. Lawrence Graph, y'all. That's right. It's a million dollar watch. Tyson is coming. He's coming. Day before the fight. Shelly Finkel comes down, who's Matt, who's looking after his affairs, and he said, look, Frank, he ain't going to fight. And he just put all this jewelry down. So I said, what do you mean? He said, I said, what, what are you talking about? He said, well, he thought you was buying it. I said, are you mental? I said, what on earth would I be paying out that for? So it becomes um, a problem. And about six months later, Mike Tyson comes back to the UK to fight. Mike Tyson is aware of some of the controversy that's gone on, but what he has said, he's like, he's sent a message to the people of Glasgow that he just wants to come here to box and give the fans what they want, which is an exciting night of boxing. During the first couple of days of that return, that Frank Warren has to go to his room to discuss several things. First of all, the fight at Hampden Park and the tickets and working with the media, but also this outstanding problem with the piece of jewellery. I was a bit silly what I did here, but I went, I went up to his room, in the room he's got him, Tommy Brooks, who's his trainer, really nice bloke, a couple of other blokes, and uh, he, he starts ranting, you know, Don King treated me better than this. And I ain't even got to saying, what the f and suddenly, crash, he's hit me with a left, left hook, right on the chin, just out of the blue. So here's the guy who's gonna fight for a world heavyweight title, and it's me, I must be, God knows how much older him and lighter than him, but she's hit me, so I've gone over. So I didn't expect it anyway. I well, got up, and then it's just like, and there's all pandemonium in the room, and all sorts of things were going on. The room's all over the place. And there's all these stories all circulating afterwards about what had happened, where, but none, I was there. I know better than anybody what happened. I had his preacher, lovely man he was, he came to me and said, Look, you can promote him for life. Because they were terrified that, you know, he, he would go back to prison. And I wouldn't, you know, it's not my style. And I just said, I ain't giving him a sixpence. You ain't getting any money out of me. That's where I'm at. And you, you want to pay him, you can pay him what you like. That's your business. And, and he's paying for that jewelry. And that is all that's going to happen. And that's what happened.